Yesterday we spoke about seeking wise counsel. Who do you seek counsel from? We know that if we've received the Holy Spirit, then he's described as our as our counsellor. If we lack wisdom, we we're to ask the Holy Spirit and he gives us that freely. But we can also seek wise counsel and wisdom from other Christians, maybe older Christians, maybe people in a place of authority. Depending on the situation, we could seek wise counsel from professionals or, or even our parents. But ultimately, when we are making decisions about anything in our lives, we should surrender it to God. And he's our helper. Our verse today is Proverbs 3, there's 5 and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. There's 13, says, Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Verse 17 says, Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. So when we're making a decision about anything in our life and we're seeking the Lord, we look for the path of peace. When we're making big decisions in our life, especially about things like buying a house or family decisions or relationships or work things, we seek peace. We ask, ask the Lord, where do I find peace? And if you don't find peace in a situation, there's something not right there. Follow the path of peace. The path of wisdom is the path of peace. So I'm going to pray over that today. Lord, I come before you in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I thank you that, that you are our counsellor, you are our giver of wisdom, Lord God, that you help us and you shine light on all our paths. Lord, we just lift up all our situations to you, Father God, and I ask you to shine light on our ways today and show us where the path of peace is, Father God. If we're making decisions about anything, Lord God, I ask you to show us, where, I ask you to give us wisdom, Father God, to show us where the peace is. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, bless our day. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.